All right, Kenton, why don't you start off by telling us what exactly the shoe that grows is? The shoe that grows is a uh, shoe that can grow five sizes and uh, last up to five years. It's a shoe that's designed to uh, help kids living around the world who are in desperate need of shoes to be able to have a shoe that can last for more than just a year. You know, a typical shoe uh, only has one size and kids are constantly growing, their feet are constantly growing. And so this is a pair of shoes that can grow with the child's feet and uh, especially important for kids around the world who um, live in kind of dangerous places. And when they don't have shoes, they can, uh, they can really be impacted by that. So this is a pair of shoes that's going to grow with them and uh, hopefully uh, last them a really long time. It's such an incredible, inspiring and amazing idea. Tell me about what inspired you to, to fund this company and make the shoe that grows. So for me, it was, it was a personal experience I had. Um, after college, I, I traveled to, uh, to kind of see the world and uh, I got to live a, and work at a, an orphanage in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, there were about 140 kids whose parents had passed away from HIV AIDS. And these kids were just wonderful, incredible kids. And one day uh, we were walking to, to church and a little girl next to me in a, in a white dress, I looked down and her shoes were so small. I mean, just unbelievably small. I don't know why I hadn't noticed it before. Um, they were so small, she had to actually cut open the front of her shoes to, to let her toes stick out. And so I looked around and a lot of the kids had shoes that just didn't fit. I asked the director later that day, why do so many kids have shoes that are, that are too small? And he said they'd received a shipment of donated shoes more than a year before and hadn't received any more donations since and they didn't have any money to buy the kids new shoes. And so they're kids, their feet are always growing and they just have to make do with what they have. So right then and there, I just kind of thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if there was a pair of shoes that could adjust and expand, a, a pair of shoes that could grow uh, with these kids? And uh, it seems like that would make a lot of sense for them. So that was just that was just it. It was just a thought that I had that day, and it just kind of never left my mind. And and slowly over the past few years, I've been able to work on it, and and then ultimately today we've taken it from uh, just an idea to uh, to a reality, and uh, it's been a really fun journey. Now tell me about the logistics here. How does this shoe actually grow along with the children's feet? Yeah, the shoe grows in uh, three main places. So we, we designed it um, just to be a really simple functional shoe. It does not have any moving parts, any gears, any mechanisms, nothing that's going to break. Uh, just some really simple components that help our shoes grow. So in the front, uh, there's kind of a tongue that comes up over the, the toes and it has five holes and you can put uh, any one of those holes over a post that we have kind of in the middle of the shoe. On the sides, we just have some snaps uh, so the kids can adjust it to whatever feels good and then snap it into place. And then on the back, we just have kind of a buckle similar to a belt buckle that the kids can adjust in the back. So really for the, for the kids, once they get their feet um, set within the shoes, you know, it probably won't change for a few months, but whenever their feet start to grow and it feels uncomfortable, they can simply just adjust either the front, the sides, or the back, and then have a kind of a, almost a whole nother pair of shoes. You know, it's just the same pair, but essentially um, another pair, another size of shoes that's, that's gonna keep on fitting their foot. Now, in South Africa, unfortunately, we see, we do see children on a day-to-day -day basis who don't have shoes or they don't have the proper shoes that fit the size of their feet. What kind of diseases or problems are children without shoes exposed to that we're not maybe thinking about? Yeah, great question. It, and this is kind of the main motivation that, that I have for, for doing this whole project. I used to think shoes were not a big deal um, until, I, until I went and saw it firsthand. And, and for many kids uh, in many parts of the world, they unfortunately live in places that have um, uh, a lack of sanitation, um, just a, a lack of uh, resources for, for hygiene, things like that. And then uh, for many kids, uh, a lack of medical care as well. So for a lot of kids, they walk around in places that um, are, are just dangerous. So if kids don't have shoes, they have kind of the, the common things that can impact them if they 
you know, are, are walking in a, in a rocky or, you know, just difficult terrain, they can get those cuts and scrapes and, and really have some issues there. Um, and then for kids who live in maybe more urban uh, places, uh, slums and, and um, different communities without this proper sanitation, uh, whenever they do get a cut or a scrape or something on their foot, now they're open to infection, all kinds of different diseases, uh, especially one called, called hookworm that enters the body through the feet. And then for many kids who do have a pair of shoes, but maybe their feet are growing and they, they don't have any more, you know, more shoes and, and they don't know quite what to do, it's a big deal that their feet grow properly. And so when they have shoes that don't fit, it can really have a big impact on their feet as well. It's amazing that feet, something that a lot of people don't think about very much, we just put on the shoes that we have. And for many of us, we have lots of choices of shoes. And we just put them on and go go on with our day. But for a lot of kids, um, they don't have those choices. And the feet, two simple things at the bottom of our body um, that sometimes we don't think about, our feet are so important to our health. 